But our story begins in Princeton, New Jersey, in a new building, a laboratory like none other in the field of radio, the RCA Laboratories, world center of radio research and pioneering, dedicated to increase the usefulness of radio and electronics to the nation, to the public, and to industry. In this building, incorporating every known feature in modern laboratory construction, men of research devote their lives to the advancement of mankind. Dr. C.B. Jolliffe, Executive Vice President in charge of the RCA Laboratories Division, and E.W. Engstrom, Vice President in charge of research, direct the work of a group of noted research workers, scientists, and laboratory technicians who are constantly seeking new ideas in the ever-broadening fields of radio and electronics. And here are some of the men who helped guide research. This is Dr. Vladimir K. Zwarikin. Seated next to him is Dr. L.P. Smith. While here, we meet Dr. H.H. H. Beveridge, all discussing a future development at this typically informal conference. Here is a place where creative men can plan and work, knowing that no facility is lacking, no want left unsatisfied. For here, truly, is the home of television. Here in the World Center of Television Research, Dr. Swarikin and Dr. Albert Rose review a research project, a project of the kind which contributed the iconoscope and the supersensitive RCA image orthicon, the eyes of the modern television camera without which present-day electronic television would be an impossibility. Dr. D.W. Epstein and others conduct research to improve the kinescope, which is the picture tube of the television receiver. But the men of science are looking to tomorrow, to new and wider horizons, to improved products and increased industrial efficiency, to new products and greater employment, to better health and a higher standard of living. Yes, to a new world.